Back you, baby. It's time in hip hop that we accept ghostwriters. We accept them in R and B. I know he's going there. I thought he's going somewhere else. Yes, we we have to. It's not the same. No, no, God. no, no. We keep complaining that the music isn't good. We keep complaining that the women don't have good subject matters. Now we have guys. We have two men in here who've worked with legendary songwriters and know what it takes to translate from words to hit records. But. For hip hop, we need songwriters to be appreciated but, but it's and part of it. It's something that you're not factoring in. Go for it. All of these overly sexual records for women are written by men. Why is that then? I mean, we have, like, like I be real with you, like they're written by men. And I don't know, I don't know if like I, they can try to erase the interactions between men and women all day, <laughs> like we're even with this, we're that, but it's like, bro, I don't think men are going to, I can't see a woman leading a group of men. Because uh, even if they are, one of them niggas is going to try to fuck. Yeah. One of them niggas is going to fuck. Yes. If one, if the, if, and one of them niggas going to be if, mad that they didn't I'm fuck. I was going to say, if it's not an alpha <laughs> that fucks, like a real nigga that fucks, or it's a beta, oh, we in trouble with a beta. The beta's taking everybody down with him. Yeah. And no, no. Everybody. We're not even going to follow you, bitch. <laughs> nigga, what? You got a beta nigga here? Yeah, hell no. <laughs> what? Oh, bitch, you got a real nigga in that? Hell no. Hey, hey, oh, so look, I, I want to give you credit. As, a, as an alpha nigga, you snatched somebody from a beta nigga? Oh, my God. <laughs> Shots. All, all, all I'm going to say is this. All I'm going to say is this. We don't know what we're talking about. All I'm going to say is this. Nobody knows, so, except for the room. So let's be careful. Right. <laughs> He's not a beta nigga. Give the nigga his credit. He's not a beta nigga. Nah, he not. <laughs> I don't, oh, I don't know. I'm not going to talk that. I'm going to say some real shit about nigga. I'm not going to say he's a beta nigga. Then, Let's move go, on. Go, bleep that one out. Let's say this. All I'm going to say is this, is that it's hard for female rap, and it's going to be harder. Really? And harder as long until a female comes in and just really is, is committed to the art of rap. And until we have that, we're going to, like, Nikki is the only one to this day. Absolutely. Like, I know we got some young people coming yes. out, like, La Lady London is, is Lady Ill. London's, she's committed she's to the committed rap. rap yep. Like, it matters to her about bars. Yes. We've seen her really pen her she shit. She said she was going to slap the shit out of me. Yeah. What? Because he disrespected her bars. He's like, I, I don't never. understand why whoa, everybody's whoa, hype. Whoa, 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 okay? I never disrespected that woman's bars. I, she has the utmost bars. Don't do that. Because yeah. she's going to watch it. Yeah, I know she's going to watch it. She said she's going to slap the shit out of me playing around. Okay, got you. No, she meant we that. We was joking. She might, she might, 60% that, was joking. That's how I want to get at you. That's not, that's not like you. That's not like you're very handsome. <laughs> and I want to get at you. That's how women play. Back in the day, that's how women play with a nigga. I'm going to slap you. She don't. You're a rare pimp. She don't look at me like you that. You have no idea, nigga. Uh, I don't. She don't, <laughs> she, don't, she don't look at me like that anyway. But I'm just saying, like, she laid down a free. Let me just say, she laid down a freestyle, and everybody was nigga was in there like this. Oh hell, Lady London. Yeah, she was. Fired. And she walks through. Oh hell, her. Yo, this is the first. Cosmic Cap said, "This is the freestyle of the year." I said, "How are we gonna say this is the freestyle of the year? It's only February." Hey, what are we talking about? So far, has a woman By put the out way, a better that's freestyle? That's not wrong. It is the that's all I'm that's saying. That's not wrong. That's not wrong. But has a woman put out a better freestyle? Not yet. But and. But, but, but I, I want to say this. Here's the issue. We have a bigger issue in our culture that we have to face. And that's where I thought you was going. No one is above criticism. And if someone criticizes you, if someone doesn't like I'm something you did, we don't there's talk nothing me. wrong with that. Here's the problem with criticism. Okay. We sat down with Charlemagne privately. Depending on who, where the criticism come, comes from, it can wreck your business and wreck your contracts and proposals yeah. because now they're going to say... If I'm in the music industry, right, and you're like, I didn't like the song that Heineken produced. It could have been a better record. You're right. Now when I walk into Atlantic, instead of me getting a half a million dollar check, I might get 150 because Ray Daniels, who got the songwriter of the year, said, this ain't good, even though you're right. Oh, you're yeah, right. Yeah, okay, so now here's what I'm going to tell you. Now, I get that point. Yes. Now, from the inside, mm -hmm. that shit don't matter. Like... Like mm. that shit, that shit, listen, let me tell you something. If if Joe Budden went on his pod and said, I hate the God show and I think Ray Daniels is terrible, everybody That's listening, every, no, everybody listening is going to go check it out to find out if it's terrible or not. So that's what I'm trying to say. The only time criticism hurts you is when it's real. 
The only time, like, if a nigga say, yo, mm. he's, a, he's mm. bad and you're really bad, it's different. But you could say Lady London didn't have the, that, it's only February, and, and, and I didn't it, say uh, good, 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 no. <laughs> no, you said it was I didn't say she didn't have this and that or nothing. <laughs> it was a tremendous verse, you know? I love you, Lady London, straight up. Because like, no, she's with the shits, no right? No joke, because. You got to have her on your show, too. Yeah, I would yo, love word up. Yo, listen. When she was on the guy's show, she got caught. When she was on the guy's show, she got caught with a stray. I all, think me, you started arguing when you left. All I'm saying was, all I'm saying was, <laughs> all I'm saying was, at that moment, it was dope. I was just being practical. The other person in the Yo, room a, <laughs> saying, how can we say this when we have 10 more months? And I didn't think that they was going to take it because I'm like, yo, I think I think she was really mad at me. Heineken was like, you got damn right she was mad at me. Yeah. Because, because this is what it sounded like you said. But I was like, that's not what I was saying, though. No. I wasn't I know saying that. like it was whack. But, but once everybody else was like, this is the freestyle of the year. And I was like, how, how can and we And since then, it? that freestyle has gone viral multiple times, and I, millions but of But the views. thing about it is, Ray... I really fuck with her. I agree. Not no regular, but like, back, But back to like what you said. I really fuck okay, with okay, her. Okay, I'm going to say something. But the criticism, I'm, 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 let's go back to that. Okay, part. watch it. I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something right now. Hove is my favorite rapper of all time. The Understood. greatest to ever do it. To ever do it. But Hola Ovito, I don't like the song. That's understandable. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say? It's like, I, I love you. Like, well, if you criticize. Now, here's what I want to say about criticism. Here's what I think the rules should be. If you criticize me, <laughs> no, real talk, I've been thinking about this. If you criticize me, that's different. You criticize my work, no one is above that. So if you say, I don't like your song, that's okay. Everything ain't for everybody. If you say you don't like me, now it's like we got a problem to talk about. Because now when you say something about me, I gotta, we got to listen for your bias now. He don't like me. He gonna, mm. Every time he says my name, he's going to say something bad because he don't like me. But if he don't like my work, that's different. So what I'm saying is, is that we got a lot of, and you know, it's a lot of people out here getting mad at Nick. I'm a fucking, you can't get, you cannot beat the whole world. You can't fight the whole world, you can't beat the whole world. So you got to get some tough skin if you're going to put yourself out there to be judged by the world. And that's just anybody. I would tell that to my kids. I would tell that to anybody in my life. If you're going to go out there and try, be ready for criticism. It's tough. People don't want to be criticized because it unveils a truth that people want to hide from. We, the only person that knows the most flaws about themselves is themselves. Yep. So when other people see it, it's really revealing. You're like, damn, I thought I could hide this from people, yep. but I can't. Mm -hmm. And this is a weakness right here.